This is a black that looks black in the daytime, but at night when light hits it, it has like a, almost like a stop sign kind of reflective to it. So I'm really interested in what that's gonna look like. Yeah. A good shepherd gave life to the sheep, least nice, but nah, he ain't nice underneath. Got a price on a leash, I don't trust when he speak. Be sound a real spite for the meat. Boy, I bleed with the best, got the people, the eagle and downs, I done feed with the flesh, trying to smeagle the race. You believe that I'm blessed, got a speed to the left. All of my clothes, I be eager to mess, oh no. Hey, welcome to Kick-Ass Powder Coating. I'm Rob, and I'll be your guide through this awesome journey of powder coating. So today we are going to get back to the Jeep. We got parts that we need to get together here that somehow didn't make it into the stripper or some that we found as we were going through. We're gonna get all those together today, get those ready. We do have our special retroflective black. If you guys weren't with me on the last video, this is a black that looks black in the daytime, but at night when light hits it, it has like a kind of reflective to it. So that'll go good with our color change Jeep. But yeah, so stay tuned, we're gonna get into that today. We're gonna to do this wheel. Um, for my buddy's bass boat, not bass boat, fishing boat, um, for the trailer, it's like the spare. So we're going to do that. And then we'll probably end up doing the wheels on the Jeep trailer or logical fart on the boat. Uh, we're going to be doing the boat trailer wheels and that probably a blue because the, the, the boat's kind of a blue tarpon scale on the side. So and that'll be another video you guys will see down the road will be, uh, Fishing. Deep sea fishing. All right. Not deep sea offshore fishing. Um, but anyway, so back to this. This is, by the way, temporary. So I'm testing the ambiance of how much light it's going to give me. They're going to go on a pretty border. Now while you're here. So I got to do some paper honing on some parts that we stripped. Let me show you that real quick. So these were kind of sitting in stripper. The bolts. We're going to finish them off in this thing, get them all cleaned up. We're probably going to powder coat all those satin black so we can... Uh, match this color change stuff where we're going to do the color change on the bolts. I don't know. They're probably just going to be satin black. I don't need a color change on the bolts because you won't see them. They're mostly holding the roll bar down. So We're going to go through all these parts, get this shop cleaned up, and get ready to powder coat. the vapor hone take off rusty parts find out go on in here it's plastic So we have finished up the surprise coating here with the reflective, Let's see if I have a flashlight out here, I don't know. Yeah, I have 95 flashlights. Let me go grab one. I'll be right back. Rev, Scotty, 
Jack. These are my shadows. Let him. Jack, you set guard right there, buddy. Good boy. And the guy he's kind of sits here by herself waiting for frisbees or balls. And then my shot, buddy. Rev comes and hangs out with me. You can come too. Have a seat. You gotta lie down, though. Lie down, Rev. Um. Thus, flashlight. Okay. So you can kind of get, see that it should be black, but it lights up. Especially if you got like a motorcycle or something. So I did all these bolts. You're like, it's just the light hitting it. They really have this like, it's hard to catch. You can kind of see it. It's... To give you an idea, this is, it doesn't look any different. Right there. I think I'd do it at night. Cerakote after dark. Actually, prismatic powders after dark. Just not this. Reflective. From a distance. You can really tell now. Look at the reflective. Oh yeah. That's where it, that's where it shines. <laughs> shines. Yeah, it is super reflective. I'll be on the back of the Jeep. Oh, that's so cool. So today, we're gonna do a wheel. I haven't done wheels. I don't really do wheels. I used to do wheels a lot. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Let me take that down for now. All right, hold up. <coughs> so I used to do wheels when I first started powder coating, mainly the, the stripper. The stripper is super dangerous. Bugatti, stop eating grass. <laughs> my dog. Come lie down. Anyways, back to the stripper. Stripper is super dangerous. I tried to stay for the safer stuff. Chem strips, a good company. That stuff you can pretty much put your hand in it. And I think they pretty much ban the methylene stuff. I know they banned it for people to go buy it at Home Depot. That's why I don't strip wheels, but this wheel's pretty much stripped down. I sanded most of the clear off. We're in the shop today and we're finally getting this wheel. I get a little sidetracked sometimes. And I get into other stuff. Tap, wait a roll. But yeah, so we're doing this uh, wheel in a illusion blue bit, which is a pretty cool color. Um, but yeah, so we got our wheel all prepped up, ready to go. We will be shooting that guy and I'm gonna take you along with that process. Of course, while we're cooking it, because I like to multitask. When I have something in there cooking, I'm not gonna sit there and just like wait. No, no, I like to get stuff done. So when that's cooking, we're going to be getting on to this guy. And if you follow me on the channel here, you see that I bought this for a ridiculous price. Let me get this wheel ready for Mark, uh, my buddy, sorry, the captain of my fishing team. So we're gonna make that fancy blue kind of match the, the blue on the boat already. But let's do that. We're at 390, you wanna be at 400 for about 10 minutes to cure that powder. A lot of powder coaters make the mistake of setting the oven to 400 degrees and sticking the part in. So the actual part that you put in the oven has to get to the curing temperature and then stay at that curing temperature for the duration of the time on the powder. Not just the oven in 10 minutes. You'll under cure all your powder if you do that. Oh, that's hot. That's a close. Uh, 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 came out very good. Blue for that fish and boat. The other glove. I didn't tape that. I gotta grind that off. Thanks for joining us on our powder coating journey this week. We hope to see you back. We'll have some more uh, exciting Porsche video. It's gonna be fun. That will be our next video. Stay tuned. You know if this lighting looks okay, I'm not sure. I do like the, the ambiance. Yeah. Rev. <laughs>